Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTL Faster Than Light. Let's pick this up where we left off. We are jumping into a new sector. I've been reading your tips and stuff in the comments. And one thing we're going to try and do, I think, is get ourselves a hacking bay. Apparently using that on enemy shields could be really effective. So that's something that we will try. Also, going through the civilian sector wasn't the best. You know, I like the combat in this game. And so I think we're actually going to go down here. So we'll get a rebel controlled sector. But after that, it's just civilian, civilian, nebula. And then a couple of, of uh, hostile ones at the end there. So into the sector we go. Let's have a look at the map. Nothing too interesting there, I guess. Jump around a bit, go through the nebula on our way to the exit. So let's go to that one first. That connects to a lot of beacons. We are down to 10 fuel, though. That's something to keep our eye on. So we're going towards the Rebel fleet, and they're trying to get away. So let's pause and think about this. We want to stop them from getting away. We now have mind control. We could possibly put that on the guy in the helm. We also have a boarding drone as well, which we could use. We could use two drone parts here, but I think we will target their weapons. They have a missile, so they can do damage to us. That is something to note, and we can bring a combat drone online. All right, so let's use that mind control. We're also gonna take, well, I was about to take the med bay offline. We'll send you up to that room to help defend. And take out that guy. And actually, you can go up there as well, because that's our helm. Sorry, our uh, weapons, and we've been hit by a missile. Not good. How are we doing up here? The mind control has been effective, I can see. As soon as we use that, I want to monitor what's happening and just so many things are going on at once. Right, let's send everyone back to their rooms. Uh, what was it I was going to do? I completely lost track of everything straight away. We just want to keep the helm down at the moment. And these are out of sync, so let's just target that on the shields instead for a moment there. Okay, yeah, they are in no position to move, are they? And actually, if we use the mind control again here, on this guy, uh, he's going to do some damage, actually. He's not going to hurt himself, though. Mind control doesn't cause them to hurt themselves. It's just the drone attacking the rooms, because those two that were left, they did not have a lot of health. There we go, so a decent amount of scrap. And what I was going to do, I remember now, was take off the med bay and put it onto the uh, engine. That was it. <laughs> Don't need to have it on all the time. Okay, so... We get to jump forward here. Does that one connect to that one? It does. I think I'm going to go down and then up like this. So, what awaits us here? It is an unarmed scout. Okay, let's pause. Let's have a look at his weapons. I don't think they can penetrate our shields. They're laser weapons. So let's target... Well, <laughs> what's the choice, really? We're going to target that anyway and bring out a drone if we had the power to. There we go. We're taking off the med bay. Yeah, we're going to bring out a drone to take down this ship. And our mind control here is pretty useless. And uh, I guess there's not much for us to do but wait here, is there? <laughs> so that was painless. A drone part, two fuel, and 28 scrap. That's pretty good in return, I'd say. Let's jump up to the next one. And what's here? It's a rebel ship. Okay. Oh, it's going to offer us something here. A flushed and panicky rebel soldier is teleported board. The rebel who appears unarmed repeatedly declares his peaceful intentions. It seems the rebel life has lost its charm. So we can accept his proposal and fight the rebel ship or reject his offer. I'm not sure what the proposal is here, but we want to fight the rebel ship. We want to destroy it and get some scrap. So we are going to accept his proposal. I get it. I see. Yeah, it makes sense now. I thought one of their guys had, you know, teleported over to attack us and it was a trap, but uh, he's actually doesn't want to be a rebel anymore. Let's pause before I get distracted by this new guy. You you are going to go stand on the doors, and I guess we are going to, let's see, let's mind control the guy in weapons, and let's target that there as well. I'm not sure what these two weapons here are, but I, I think they're both lasers, and possibly they can do damage to us. So let's see what happens just before we bring out the drone. Are they going to fire? They're not even going to get a chance, are they? So let's put the drone out there. So that one had three shots, so that one can actually hurt us. So we definitely need to keep those weapons down. Let's also try and hit the shields a little bit. 
There we go, the mind control did a little bit of damage there, that's good. Slowing them down, one of their weapons has come back up, so we're going to target that. And let's save our crew positions as well, now that we've got a new crew member. But there is not too much now for us to do, I think, just... Oh, they're trying to escape now, okay, so let's... Well, their uh, helm is damaged, we can use mind control again, let's use that on the engine room. They are going nowhere at the moment, they are pretty much a sitting duck. Let's just target that shield again for the moment. And they're back on weapons, they're trying to surrender, that is a terrible offer, we will not accept that. If you're going to surrender, you've got to offer something substantial, you know, that was very little. And we got, yeah, one extra missile and some more scrap, so it was worth not accepting that. We now have 128 scrap, and I'd like to get a weapon. What I want to do is get a hacking bay and a weapon. We want to be able to use the mind control on the hacking bay to really kind of slow them down at the beginning, and then have some weapons to do some damage. So if we look at ship upgrades, we should probably get the engine. In fact, I think what we're going to do here is just get two of those and uh, put the power onto it. You see, I was reading that we should keep the medbay offline, use it when we need to, and maybe even try and play around with the power of the oxygen as well. You know, if we take that offline and put it on the dodge, it really does help. So it's something we've got to consider is a little bit more management when going into yeah, further into this game. But we have 83 scrap, that should be enough for a weapon if we find one. There's nothing over here though, so where do we jump to next? I think we're going to go 1-2, into the nebula, up there, and then possibly those jumps like that. So let's go to that one first. We only have 10 fuel, bear in mind, and we're in an asteroid field, and it's one of these automated guys, so let's pause quickly. Uh, we can't use mind control, so we're going to put that on dodge. And then we're going to take our oxygen offline while we target... Now they've got drones as well, they've also got a missile, so that's definitely going on to weapons. And we're going to bring out the combat drone, of course. And they've got a drone probing us as well, so their weapons are down. Let's now put that on shields. In fact, their weapons look like they're off for good. And this has quickly become a one-sided battle. There we go. That was over so much quicker than I anticipated. Okay, so 34 scrap and a drone part. Not bad. So now we've got to jump out of here and go to the next thing, which is the one above. Our oxygen is offline, so we might want to bring that back up. Depends what's out here, I guess. So nothing. I think what we will do is bring the oxygen online and just let it refuel, refuel to 100, and then I'll jump forward and we'll move to the next one. 100% oxygen. There we are. Let's jump forward into the nebula. And let's see what awaits us. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought for a second that was the other way around. He's offering nine fuel for one drone part. We are going to do that. That is awesome. That worked out really well. On to the next one. That's a very nice trade. <laughs> hey, this is a dangerous place to be. You jump inside the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple... Recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. So we can manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment, or we can avoid the risk and jump away unscathed. Let's search the wreckage. And that was well and truly worth doing. We have ourselves a Hallad Beam, which is not a bad weapon to pick up at this point, and some more scrap. We are now up to 154. If we find a ship up ahead, then we are going to... Sorry, a shop. Uh, we need to jump out of here, <laughs> and we are going to be alright. Let's go up to the next one. It's a distress beacon. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot our course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you leave us there? Let's lead them to their destination. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment, or we'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. And they've added a quest marker to the map. I'm just wondering in the back of my mind where it's going to be. So it's over there. We can go there, there, and then to the exit. That works out nicely. Let's also think about what upgrades we need at the moment. It's really tempting to hold on to this till you go to a shop, you know. That's my instinct every time I do this. So the Halib Beam uses free power. Doesn't feel like there's too much here worth doing at the moment. Maybe upgrade the shields to the third level before we go into it, but that's most of our scrap gone. I'm just going to B 
be a risk taker here and hope we'll be able to hold out until we find a shop or at least get more scrap to know we can make an upgrade and have some scrap left over. So it would appear that this is an ambush. Let's fight. Okay, let's look at the situation. They are about to hack us, so we are going to target, as always, their weapons. Um, that is not a we That's not a, uh, a missile weapon, is it? I'm not sure what weapon that is. I don't know if it can penetrate our shields, but we don't have oxygen on, and we don't have mind control on. Let's put on mind control and uh, deploy a drone. And then they're hacking our weapons, so I think we need to mind control their weapons and get this thing offline. Okay, that is just a single shot. They can't actually hurt us then, can they? If that's their only weapon, so that's something to think about. Let's target their shields. So this thing is just being slowed down at the moment because it's hacked. Slowed down quite a lot. Uh, we also have no oxygen in the ship and it's getting pretty low. It's down to 50%, so let's just take a little bit of dodge for a moment. Okay, now it's trying to get away. That kind of makes sense. It can't get through our shields. So we can almost use... No, actually, we need a little bit more time for mind control. So I guess we're going to have to try and target the helm. And I think my drone is just totally out of sync with the weapons here. Come on, hit, hit their uh, helm or something useful. Okay, we can mind control. Let's quickly mind control the helm. Now, will they be able to escape? Because they are offering a, a large amount of fuel. Two drone parts. We know these things are expensive as well. Okay, we're actually going to accept that, I think. We were very close to destroying them. Uh, but with two drone parts, I can't really refuse that. I think that was a good offer. We're now up to 20 fuel, so that's not a problem for a while. And we're just going to sit here and let the oxygen refill. So, let's jump onto our next beacon. We have a heck of a lot of scrap. We need 150 to upgrade our shields, but 42 isn't going to be enough to pick up a weapon if we find one in the next sector, that is. Okay, so a rebel captain appears on the screen. I thought we had been doomed to backwater assignments. This is my chance to get back in the command's good graces. Charge the weapons. Okay, let's have a look. That's the same weapon we saw last time, plus a halibut beam. They're not going to get for our shields, but they do have a drone here. So with that drone, they can they can definitely actually get through. So let's target their drone system and take that offline for a change. Let's bring out our combat drone. That means we're going to have to take away some power from these two systems. And we are going to target their shields actually this time. Let's see if that makes much of a difference at all. What the hell was that? Uh, this is something I'm not used to, isn't it? Oh god, what is going on? You two need to get in there and repair that immediately. Uh, this guy has got some sort of status above his head. I think he's stunned, so he might not be able to make it out of there. Oh dear gods, they're using the beam. Uh, this fight is going bad. Yes it is. Oh my god. <laughs> they're trying to escape. I kind of want to escape as well at this point. Why are they trying to escape? It's because of that thing back there, isn't it? Well, talking about taking risks, we could have done with more shield power there and oh, everything is broken and falling apart. Our oxygen is offline as well. <laughs> what is happening? You are considerably more well armed than I would have thought. We surrender. <laughs> I'm going to accept that and jump the heck out of here. Uh, I need to get the helm online. Let's get over there quickly. Let's also send someone to oxygen or two people. Okay, let's jump. Oh, that was terrible. Well, that was a really, really bad, bad fight. And whatever that thing in the background was, that was just... I didn't even have the time to find out what that was. <laughs> okay, you arrived near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Okay, we can scrap the debris or we can look for survivors. Thing is, we've got six crew members. We're not doing a boarding strategy. We should take the scrap... And uh, that's really not a lot, but do you know what that does mean? I think we can justify upgrading our shields. If only we had done that the round before, we might be looking at a better situation right now. Let's get the oxygen online, because it is desperately low, and I'm just going to have to send these guys around and repair the ship. 99%, that's good enough. Everyone's healed up. Let's go into the next sector. Now, we're going to go to the Zoltan Homeworlds, because apparently there is a quest there. I've got a comment about that. The other one was also Zoltan. 
that Homeworlds I'm pretty sure is the one we're supposed to go to. If I've gone to the wrong one, I am sorry. Just going based on memory. So we probably want to hit up all of these ones. We can go one, two, three, four, and then down. I think we're going to be able to do that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that'll be plenty of time. So let's travel up first of all. So your ship emerges far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationing to look for you. Let's attack the ship. Okay, and pause. They've got a drone which looks a little bit advanced here. Uh, that weapon, I don't know what it is. That looks like a basic laser one, but I think that means they've got missiles. Let's bring that online and take off our oxygen. And a little bit of power there. We are going to mind control one of their rooms. They've got a cloning bay and also a hacking one. Hmm. This looks like it might be a tricky fight. We're going to target their weapons. Bring on the drone. And we'll use the mind control in the hacking room. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Shields. The helm. Where are... Okay, apparently maybe I can't use this because sensors are down. That kind of sucks. And uh, this room is being hacked. And I think our drone and our iron weapon are just totally out of sync again. Yeah, look at that. We need to hold on to this one for a second. Timing is important. There we go. Okay, the shields are now being damaged. And it looks like it's just going to be another slow fight. We really need another weapon we can use here. And we can't keep the shields off at this point to use the halibut beam, so we're just going to sit and waiting. And our oxygen's going down. Let's bring that online since we're not using the mind control. And it's a good thing to note that doesn't work in the nebula, actually, because the sensors are down. And this has turned into a slow fight <laughs> once again. Okay, now target. Oh, I think we need two drones, really. This is ever so slow. And they're just out of sync again. I can't seem to ever get them to do this right. <laughs> oh, they also have two levels of shields. Well, that's kind of a problem. We haven't picked up another weapon. And uh, we do have a missile weapon, but it's a repair bomb. Teleporting bomb. Shields. Ignore shields. Requires missile. Uh, just the name throws me off because I haven't used this before. Let's bring it online and uh, target it into a room of theirs. See what it does. Do you know, I'm thinking I might jump away from this fight because we're not going to win it and there's a slim chance we might take some damage at some point. So what happened? Did it, did it fire? <laughs> I have no idea what it did. I don't even know. I think that actually does repair, like it says. And our drone's offline. Let's jump. This is just uh, not going <laughs> well at all, is it? We need to find a shop at this point. And there's nothing in this place. Let's go down to the next one. Okay, it's an automated ship. And uh, our drone room is damaged. When did that get damaged? I did not even notice. There are too many things to watch. Okay, let's send these guys. Okay, and now our helm is being hacked. I guess that's fine. Let's repair our drone room and target their weapons. They've got a missile, so we definitely want to keep this down. Oh, and they just fired it. And it hit our oxygen hard. Right, let's bring the drone out. Let's send those two to the oxygen room. Damn it, I thought this was going so well. You know, every time I've played Advanced Edition, it hasn't gone too well. Like, mid-game, this kind of stuff happens. But in general, I just don't have enough time to play this game, you know. It's the kind of game you really need to play over and over again to learn it inside out. And We need to bring the medbay online. Uh, should we take oxygen off? Yeah, we're at 70%. Okay, I think we need to target their uh, shields and try and bring that down. And it looks like we're going to be alright this time. Why are people not healing up? Oh, they are, just very slowly. Fair enough. Okay, that's down now. That means we can put the oxygen back on. So, we're going to wait, let our crew members heal, and let the oxygen refill. Okay, let's jump down to the next one. Down to 16 fuel. Something to keep our eye on. 
Okay, so this is just a hiding place for a Zoltan border. Great, another fight. So this thing's got three weapons, all of which are lasers, but, you know, there's three of them. We've got three shields, so they could probably do damage. Let's bring on Uno Rune and Nebula, so we're not going to use that. We are just going to have to rely on the, the drone, which we can't bring online. Let's take one off of engines. Actually, no, what we'll do is take down the oxygen. And there we go, one of those shots missed. So there go our shields. And we've got to make sure these line up now. Let's target that on shields for a second. No, it missed. <laughs> this isn't going well. Oh, why can't they just synchronize? Our shields are holding. Okay, now fire. Has it got two levels of shields? No, it hasn't. I don't know why that is not working. <laughs> I can't get them to line up. Ah, oh dear. What is going on? I feel like I'm making an obvious mistake here. Okay, now it goes offline for a moment. Now it's got two again, look. We just don't have the firepower to penetrate their shields, basically. That is the real problem. I think we're just going to jump. This is going to go on and on. And there's a store, so hopefully we can pick up a weapon. Ah, oh, not really happy with how that's turned out there. A human ship hails. My friends, please, there is nothing I don't have. And there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? Hopefully you have some weapons and a hacking bay. Uh, but you have neither. I think we're going to have to get another combat drone. Shield overcharge. Create single super shield barrier periodically. Hmm. Let's get that thing right there. And should we sell the boarding drone? I don't really use that. We'll just use the two combat ones. Let's also sell that thing. That thing was terrible. <laughs> so we have 150. And I don't think we're going to get any of those. Uh, we do need to fix up the ship up to around there. And we should be wise to buy some fuel early on while it's cheap. And some drone parts as well. And now we're down to 85. And our oxygen is going to kill our crew if we're not careful. Let's just put that back on. <laughs> That's why I tend to leave the med bay and the oxygen on. Because I'm just terrible at monitoring everything. So now if we look at the ship we can get two more of these. That's 75. And I guess we'll get the power bars later. We could pos possibly salvage some power from the uh, engines when we need to attack. Right, so we're just waiting for the oxygen to fill back up. Okay, on to the next one we go it is a distress beacon. However, we'd have to backtrack this way. I don't think that's going to be worthwhile. Apparently the rewards of a distress beacon are around double, but we're going to go to the right because we need to get towards that beacon. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making a w its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This, this is a Zoltan peace envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. Let's hear them out. Hey, this might be the quest line, by the way. <laughs> they continue. We take your silence for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. Fair enough. They finish. Please spread the word of enlightenment to those that have not heard. Once you have, contact our brethren. They transmit coordinates of their so-called brethren. Edit a quest marker to your map. Okay, cool. We're going to go to that. One, two, and three. And then we can easily make our way down there. So let's do it. And what awaits us here? A ship with a lot of shields. We now have two combat drones, though. A Zoltan ship makes contact. The nature of the day is rotational, the fever is emancipated, the reason is they've caught some nasty deep space dementia. Before you can consider finding help for them, they fire. They open fire. Fair enough. Okay, right, we want to have power to that. We want to be able to bring two of these online, so oxygen goes off. One, two, three. So very low on dodge now. Not sure if that's really that good at all. Let's bring these combat drones online. They've got to do some damage to that shield first of all. Along with our iron weapon as well. 
Okay, now that we've ionised that, let's target their shields. And hopefully we can bring this thing down. Okay, two of these are doing a pretty good job by the looks of it. Just depends now, I think, really, on what systems they hit. Like, weapons are down. Weapons has been hit a few times. Ah, this is, this is over. <laughs> that extra drone made a huge difference. Awesome. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. We are instantly going to buy an extra power bar with some of that. And let's bring the oxygen back online. And then we're going to sit here and wait. So, 100% oxygen. Let's go up and let's head towards that quest beacon. I think I might pause the game and uh, look into it on the wiki and just see if it is actually the right quest that we're on. But anyway, you arrive at an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these cloned mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. You do not have time for this. We do not have time for this. We are on a quest. Let's target their weapons just like before. Let's bring the drones online. Uh, we are short of one. I didn't use my mind control in the last battle. Let's use that on their shields quickly. And let's also target their shields. And they've taken ours down. We're in an asteroid field. This is bad. But look at them. They are really suffering. These two droid droids? <laughs> These two drones are making a, an immense difference. And uh, we've got a nice amount of scrap. But we're just going to jump out of here at this point. Let's put that back on the engine so we can do a little bit of dodging. Let's bring our oxygen online as well. And let's go to the quest. And we could possibly make our way to the distress beacon on the way out of here as well. And uh, I was going to go pause and look at the wiki, but actually, yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, I think you select the first one and then the second one. Okay. And there we go, we unlocked the Zoltan Cruiser. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I doubt I would have done that without the help from the wiki. Uh, we got a crew member, a lot of scrap as well, which is pretty cool. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid their fight. I will personally assist. And we unlocked the Zoltan Cruiser. That's pretty cool. So this guy's good on the helm or in the engines. And I haven't really been following how our crew members have been doing. So let's have a look. Well, he's, he's good at everything, basically. <laughs> do what you want with him. Awesome. So where are we going to put this guy? We've got a weapons expert, and we've got someone in the shields and the engines. I think, yeah, let's put him on shields. This guy hasn't really progressed over there too much. You can go, let's put you on standby in the oxygen room. And this guy will also provide power to the shields, which is actually really good. That gives us some extra reactor power to you know, be flexible with. So we can now go to the distress. Actually, if we go to that one, we have to backtrack. So I think we're going to go to the store and then down and out. So let's see what this store has for offer. We have 109. We've had a little bit of a turn of fortune, so hopefully that can continue. Uh, it can because we can now get our hacking bay. Excellent. <laughs> that worked out very, very well. Oh, this is your ship's final system slot. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, we should also buy a little bit of fuel. And probably the drone parts, but we are really low now. So I think we're just going to, to leave it at that. We've been using two drone parts at one at this point in each battle because we deployed both of them at once, which is actually quite expensive when you think about it. If they cost eight apiece, that's 16 scrap per fight. So you arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has time to undergo a few scans. We will participate in their study. And, well, it looks like that has earned us 20 scrap. That's not bad, is it? We could spend that on an extra power upgrade. Although we did just get one back. Yeah, I think we'll be fine because we've got the new crew member. So down we go. Two more jumps and we're, we're out of it, I think. On to the next sector. Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears the rebel ship is run by an AI. We have read that one so many times. Okay, so we will target their weapons. We will not be able to mind control. We're going to hack. Uh, well, let's hack. Actually, let's hack their, in uh, sorry, their weapons. It's the only thing worth doing, really. We'll take that one offline and bring out a single drone. And that should be us okay for a while.
So hacking a system allows you to see what's going on with it as well, that's good to know. I have used this before, I just forget things easily as I'm sure you're aware. And I guess it's just another waiting game. And our drone is missing all the time, come on guy. There we go. I don't think their weapons are going to be used again. And that's it. How much scrap do we get? 33, not bad. So, if there's nothing happening at this beacon, that is going to be it for this episode. Let's see what's here. Okay, that's it. So we're on to the next one. That's going to be it for this episode. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.